see it? Right there, look. Where is it at? Guys, Justin here with yet another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we give you all the best fishing diving tips here in the Aloha State as well as some fishing and spearfishing vlogs. Now today's episode I've been sitting on for a while, just haven't had a chance to put it together, but that is testing these new wooden Nakoa hammerhead spear guns. I'm sure if you guys have looked for diving gear here in Hawaii, you've heard of hammerhead spear guns. Now this is the first wood gun of its kind. They usually make pipe guns, so I'm super stoked to be able to try this out. And I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts, feedback on the gun, where you guys can purchase it, so on and so forth. So I picked this gun up at the Ocean Expo. I'm not sure the day, but it was end of October. So let's start there, show you guys my little adventure, picking the gun up. I'm gonna talk about it and we'll jump in the water. Right, guys just finished up at the expo grab the new spear gun from hammerhead spear guns I'm gonna try out his new wood 50 inch open track so let's go ahead and set right, guys, this up so this is a new hammerhead spear gun new wood guns that they're having usually they have um, just pipe guns roller guns stuff like that but they just launched these new wood spear guns so I'm eager to try it out I got it for a really good deal from hammerhead Kev over there at hammerhead this is gonna be an open track so you guys can see as compared to my other spear gun. So excited to test it in the water. I just wanna go over it a little bit, show you guys some components as compared to my other gun, which is this enclosed track hatch. So the new gun is a 50 inch as compared to the 55 inch in the hatch, which is about a 115 here to like a 100 to 105. So this is gonna be a shorter gun. And like I said, this is an open track, so it doesn't have to go in through the slide. And there are some pros and cons uh, based on whichever one you get. So the enclosed track, you have to deal with loading the shaft all the way from the top. Right here, you guys can see the track. And you have to slide it through there before you lock it in. Whereas the open track, you can just slide it on top into the locking me mechanism and it'll lock right there. Let's look at a couple things. You guys can see the grip. This is more of a molded grip, whereas the hammerhead is more like a plastic kind of grip. Depends on whichever one you prefer. And of course, you can switch these out with different parts. You guys can see on the bottom is gonna be like a little screw underneath where you can swap it out. I'm pretty sure you can do it for both guns. Then you notice the trigger, very similar. This one's a little shorter. This is where you lock in the shaft right here. You can compare it to the hatch. So of course this gun is newer, everything looks newer on this one, but comparably very similar. I mean all wood guns are gonna have the same, you know, similar components, but um, I'm really excited to try this. I've never shot an open track wood spear gun. Right away is this gun is way lighter, not just because it's a 50 inch, but I just feel like it's just a lighter gun in general. If I had I got this in the 55 inch, I'm sure it would have been a lot lighter than the Hatch Romero right here. And I'm not sure if that makes a huge difference when you're shooting it. I know for sure underwater makes it easier to maneuver 
um, the lighter guns in general. Both of these guns have rear handles, as you guys can see. A mid handle would be more up here, which obviously, with the rear handle gun, the gun gets closer to the fish, whereas the mid handle, you're gonna be physically closer to the fish because the handle's gonna be over here, but it just makes it easier to maneuver the butt. But preferably, I like the rear handle ones. Noticeable difference is that the hatch, it kinda holds the same body all the way through the whole gun, whereas the hammerhead spear guns, you guys can see, it kinda molds around. You see this little curvature right here. I'm not sure what that does, if it makes it more hydrodynamic, I guess the word would be, but definitely you guys can tell in the body. As far as the butt goes, really thick foam piece on both of them. I will say the Hatch and Merrill's one is actually a lot softer, whereas this one, a little more rough, but I'm sure they both do the trick just fine. One thing I really like about hatch guns, and I'm sure other spear, other wooden spear guns have, is this little hole on the back where you can tie a little line just in case you need to clip this to your buoy or anything else. So you have that little hole drilled inside of the gun. The hammerhead spear gun doesn't seem to have that one. All right, now we're gonna test out the trigger. I'm gonna shoot both of these guns, and it might be a little biased because um, this gun is a lot older. Obviously, this one is brand new, so. Let's go ahead and try it out. So that was the hatch. And we'll try the hammerhead. Like I said, it's a lot shorter, the trigger. But it's a lot more sturdy, it feels like. So let's try this one. Because we released it, let's go ahead and pop it back in. We'll do the same thing with the hatch. As far as the shaft goes, I'm not sure the exact brand. I think Hammerhead makes their own. You guys can see it's kind of branded right there on top of their barb. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's our logo. And that, um, real quick, that seems to be the only um, differentiation between, I don't even know if that's a word, between um, the Hammerhead gun itself. There's not really any other branding that goes on top of here, which some of you guys might enjoy. Whereas the hatch, it has that signature patch logo that looks like the Alua. And um, yeah, like I said, the shaft on here, I think these are house made by Hammerhead. This one's gonna be a lot thicker because it's a bigger gun, I'm pretty sure. But the Hatch Amaro 55 inch has a lot thicker shaft than the um, Hammerhead Spear Gun. And of course, the bands are gonna go right inside here. And you can see the Hatch already have the bands in this one. To check out any of their guns, Click the link in the description. Um, I'm really high on these hammerhead spear guns right now, so let's go ahead and jump in the water and we'll test it out. Tell me how you spot. Alright, so we are in the water now testing out this new spear gun that we picked up from Hammerhead Spear Guns, this Nicole wooden gun. Really excited to try it out and as you guys can already tell the water is super dirty. That's because it's the winter time here in Hawaii which means the waves on the north shore of Oahu are big. So whenever it's flat, one to two feet, two to three feet, we always try to find some time to dive. And that means the water is gonna be super dirty as well because on the other days, the waves are really big. So it kind of lifts up all the silt, whatever on top of the reef makes the, makes the water pretty dirty, but no excuses, jump in the water, good enough to dive, see if we can shoot some fish. Right away, my brother shoots this Avail Avail, which is a nice whole fish perfect for eating you don't have to scale it you do have to gut it unless you you're into that eating the guts but yeah perfect fish to fry up on your frying pan and he kind of skewered it so i'm just helping him out because i have the one glove wonder like michael jackson I'm gonna pull it off brain it for him awesome little fish perfect for eating actually my favorite fried fish to eat so this little drop right here you guys can see this uhu trying to dive bomb it a little bit and it's just too far to get away so a lot of the uhus in this video kind of in and out a little bit skittish so i'm going to try some different techniques to bring them in so you guys can see i'm going to drop down into this channel right here check out what's going on underneath maybe run into a nice little umilu i have seen some sharks in little caves like that so just making sure there's no sharks before i hang out on the shelf right now so i did see a school of uhu you guys can tell they're right there behind on the right side a little bit skittish kind of having a hard time bringing them in 
Some of the smaller ones will come in really fast. Good enough to eat, big enough to eat, but you know, I don't like taking those shots because if I can bring the bigger ones in, I'd, I'd rather do that. So this drop right here, I'm kind of diving down into this little channel. Gonna see what I can bring in. I did see that little school of Uhu, so I'm trying to call them in right now. And like I said, there's a bunch of Uhus, but they were kind of skittish, so we're gonna try some different techniques to bring them in. So this one is just gonna be scratching reef. You guys can see I'm just kind of scratching the reef with my pointer finger in my hand, trying to bring in the Uhus. One kind of comes close enough for me to take a shot, but this is a newer gun, so I gotta try to figure out what the range is, if I need new bands or whatnot. So, gonna take the shot, gonna miss, but have a good idea of what I need to do next. So this will be another drop on an Uhu Pao. I'm gonna dive into this little channel right here. You guys can see where all the sand sits. And the Uhus kinda like to hang out in the bottom area, like this, whenever you guys see like cracks in the reef where there's a mixture of sand and a reef. Uhus like to kinda hang out on the bottom and feed. I don't know if it's because it's safe for them to just go up and down the channel opposed to being on the flat reef, but I noticed that with Uhu. So right now, kind of stalking a little Uhu pile right there. Gonna pull myself a little closer, see how close I can get to the fish because, like I said, this is a little bit shorter gun than my hatch. So I'm trying to kind of break that distance in half a little bit by, you know, bringing myself closer to the fish. So there's the Uhu right there. Gonna take the shot and I missed that one as well. So by now I'm really frustrated, you know, the water's dirty, fish are hard to find because the water's dirty, and even when I do find them, it's I'm missing my shot, so I'm pretty frustrated. Um, you know, I swam a little bit further left, found some cleaner water, more shallow water, a little bit more inaccessible, so I'm expecting the fish to be a little bit more tame as well. You guys can see all this bait fish right there on the right side, some little maninis. There was a big blue uhu kind of cruising with it, so right now I'm kind of looking for it seeing where it went and it's gonna pull up right in the front over here so you guys will see the colors you know zoom down from the left to the right right there and I'm gonna follow the fish straight forward take a leading shot and I'm gonna miss again for the third what is that third fourth time anyways the blue uhu actually kind of stuck around and it brought in the rest of the pod which is a little school of fish so there's usually one blue uhu per pod always try to go for the reds not the blues because once the blue is gone the red has to turn into a male so sometimes you shoot red uhus and they're kind of blue that's because it's trying to transition and take that lead role so you guys can see the uhus in the background and i've already missed like three four times i don't really feel comfortable taking long shots i don't want to hit the fish and hit the fish end up dying and i'm not able to land it so trying to bring the fish in it's not working um, take another drop after this and the fish ended up just swimming away because I just didn't feel comfortable bringing it in closer so definitely got to take this gun on out on another dive um, hopefully we can catch a fish then but until then I'm just gonna give you guys my feedback on this gun right now overall the gun just felt really nice it was light underwater gotta get used to that shorter trigger um, which is not really an issue, but just something you need to get used to. And I do believe that the bands are incorrect for the gun. I just gotta maybe try it out, take it out diving again when it's better conditions or switch them out. But other than that, really cool gun. Check it out. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Shoots Mahalo. See you later. Bye bye. This is the Cause my brad a chav, he will show me this place And if you post a pic, he going insta my face Chav is pretty nuts, bruh, I don't like scrap